Hi everyone, this is Mrs. G.A. and today we're going to learn about parabolas. Um, so the parabolas that we are going to be working with um, are a little bit more complex than how we've learned them in the past. So um, when we are working with parabolas, we're going to work with these three key features, which is the vertex, which you should already know, we've used that in the past, but these two extra ones are new. So the first is called the focus, and this point right here is the focus, and the last is a directrix, which is actually a horizontal or vertical line. So in this case, this is the directrix. So um, by definition, a parabola is a set of points in a plane that are equidistant from the focus and the directrix. So if you see here, our parabola is drawn in red. So if you take any point on your parabola, let, let's say I take this point where the green lines intersect, the distance from that point to the directrix is the same as the distance from that point to the focus. Or if I take another point like this one over here, this distance is exactly the same as this distance. So that's the um, geometric definition of a parabola. So again, we're still working with that vertex, but now we're going to be more focused on the directrix and the focus, and that means that our uh, standard form of the equation is going to look a little different. So here are the equations, and then we'll sketch the graphs of these parabolas. So a parabola with a vertical axis, are the form that we're going to be using for the equation looks like this. x squared equals 4py. Um, so you'll notice that here we are going to sometimes have a value in front of y. I know that in the past it's always y equals x squared. Um, but in this case, we want we want to see if we can um, turn our equation into this form. So we like this form because it's easy for us to figure out where the focus and the directrix are. So by definition, if you have it in this form, our focus is at 0p and our directrix would be at y equals negative p. So let's sketch what this looks like. So here's what it looks like when our p value is greater than 0. Right, we have an upward facing parabola, and our focus, right, is at zero P. So let's say this is our focus. And then our directrix, you can see, is a horizontal line at Y equals negative P. So it looks something like this. So what this means is the distance from your vertex to your focus is always p and this distance is also p so that p value helps you determine how far away the focus and the directrix are from your vertex so that's going to be a really important value for us now if your p value is negative then you could probably guess we have a downward facing graph like this and then our focus is going to be here and our directrix will still be a horizontal line, but it will be above your graph, like this. And same thing, this distance is P, and this distance is P. Um, so you just need to notice that the focus is always inside the parabola. Um, so here it's inside, and here it's inside, and then your directrix is always outside the parabola, and it should never actually intersect your parabola. Now, um, the equation for a parabola with a horizontal axis, so a sideways parabola, looks like this. y squared equals 4px. So you can tell because now the y is being squared. So again, we really center around that p-value. Um, so our vertex would still be at 0, 0 for this form, um, but our focus is now at p0. So if you have a p-value that's positive, our focus is going to be here. And our directrix now is a vertical line at x equals negative p. So again, the distance from the vertex to the focus is p, and the distance from the directrix to the vertex is also p. And it faces to the right if your p-value is positive. Now if your p-value is negative, then we just have a parabola that is facing to the left, now our focus is here on the inside of our parabola, and our directrix is to the right of the parabola. Again, it is a vertical line. So our goal today 
is to um, use these forms of the equations to help us find the focus in the directrix and to help us um, sketch a graph. Okay, let's try this first one together. So this says, find the equation of the parabola with a vertex at the origin. So our vertex is here. And a focus at 0, 2. So that's our focus. Put an F for focus. Okay, so our goal is to first determine, is this a vertical or a horizontal parabola? And since our vertex is here and our focus is above, we know that our parabola is going to look something like this. And again, this is just a rough sketch to give us an idea of which form of the equation we should use. So we know that the form for this equation is x squared equals 4py. Um, just from looking at the picture as well, we can also figure out where the directrix is, which we do need to sketch with the graph. So I see that the distance from my vertex to my focus is 2. Um, so that tells me that p equals 2. That's going to be a very important um, value for us. So I know that our directrix will be exactly 2 units going in the opposite direction, and it is going to be a horizontal line. So our directrix is y equals negative 2. Okay, so now we have everything we need to make the equation. We've already sketched the graph. All we have to do is substitute p in our standard form. So we get x squared equals 4 times 2, which is 8. So we just say equals 8y. And this is the form that we're going to leave our answer in. Okay, let's try another one together. So this says find the equation of the parabola with a vertex at the origin. So again, here's our vertex. And a focus at negative 3, 0. So this time, since our focus is here, we can deduce that we have a parabola that is horizontal and opens to the left. So first of all, that tells us we'll be using this form y squared equals 4px and it also tells us that our p-value is going to be negative so we can count this distance here our p-value is negative 3 so we can substitute that into our um, equation and we'll have the standard form so 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 so y squared equals negative 12x so that's our equation and then we still need to draw in our um, directrix. So again, since we have a horizontal parabola, our directrix is now going to be a vertical line. So since we have three units between the vertex and the focus, we're going to do the same for the directrix. So our directrix is exactly three units away. And the equation is x equals 3 because it is a vertical line. So I think for these, the key is um, giving yourself a visual so you can determine what type of parabola you have and whether your p-value is going to be positive or negative. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and see if you can give um, this example a try and we'll check your answer in just a few seconds. Okay, go ahead and check uh, your work. So based on where the vertex and the focus are, you can deduce that this is a downward facing vertical parabola. Um, our p-value is eight because that's the distance, or it's negative eight, sorry, because that's the distance between um, the vertex and your focus, and we are going down, meaning it's negative. And then um, if you substitute this p-value into our standard form, we get this as our equation. And then also note that our directrix is at y equals 8. So it's that p units in the opposite direction. All right, let's try another example together. Um, so this problem, we're going to find the focus and the directrix of the parabola with the equation y equals negative 5x squared and then we're going to sketch the graph. So the first thing that we do need to do for these problems is to make sure that they are in that standard form. So remember the standard form actually looks like this for P, Y. So that means that we do need to isolate X squared. So if I take the um, original equation and I divide both sides by negative five, we get X squared 
equals negative one-fifth y. So we know that our vertex is going to be at the origin because we, we aren't doing any shifts for these types of graphs yet. Um, but the next thing I need to find are the focus and the directrix. And I know that the key to that is to find the p-value. So notice here that this value in front of y should be equal to 4p. So we can find p by setting up the equation 4p equals negative 1 fifth. And then if you divide both sides by 4, we get p equals negative 1 over 20. So if our p value is negative 1 over 20, I mean, we could kind of ask, it's going to be really close to our um, vertex. But since it is negative, we know that we have a downward facing vertex like this, or a downward facing parabola. And we know that the focus is at 0, negative 1 over 20. This is our focus. And then we know that the directrix is going to be negative 1 20th units going in the opposite direction. And our directrix, again, is a horizontal line for this uh, parabola. So the equation of this directrix is y equals positive 1 20th. Okay, so again, that key is to find what the p-value is, and the p-value will help you determine where your focus is and the equation of your directrix. Okay, let's try one more together. So again, we're gonna find the focus and the directrix of this parabola. Again, it is not in standard form, so that's the first thing we're going to need to do. So standard form for this would look like y squared equals 4px. So you can see that if I simply subtract 6x from both sides, it fixes that problem. So equals negative 6x. And now we can um, set up an equation to find p. Because we know that the coefficient of x should be equal to 4p. So that means that in this case, p is negative 3 halves. And so now we can kind of sketch a picture to give us a better idea of what's going on. So again, our vertex is still at the origin. We don't have any shifts here. You can tell because we're not adding or subtracting from x or y. Um, but our p-value, again, is negative 3 halves. Now here you have to remember, since y is being squared, we are going to have a horizontal parabola. And since our p-value is negative, it's going to look something like this. And our um, p-value, again, is negative 3 halves, so it's right about here. And that would be the exact point of our focus, which is negative 3 halves, 0. So if you sketch a picture, you should be able to tell that you're simply moving to the left 3 halves unit, and you're not moving up or down. So that's the equation, or that's the point of our focus. And I know that our directrix would be a vertical line, three halves units to the right of our vertex. So we can describe the equation as x equals positive three halves. So just make sure you realize this time we do have a vertical line because we have a horizontal parabola. Okay, um, go ahead and pause the video and see if you can give um, this first problem a try. Uh, my hint is make sure your equation is in standard form. Okay, um, so you can see here that uh, you have to start by technically dividing both sides by negative 1, so it's in standard form. So we get y squared equals negative x, and then we can set up the equation 4p equals negative 1 to find that our p-value is negative 1 fourth. So since y is being squared and our p-value is negative, we have a leftward facing parabola, meaning our focus would be right here at negative 1 fourth 0, and our directrix would be here, and the equation is x equals 1 fourth. Okay, um, here's the last problem, so go ahead and pause the video and see if you can give it a try. We'll check your answers in just a few seconds.
Okay, so go ahead and check your answer here. Um, your first step should have been multiplying both sides by 2, so you get x squared equals 2y. So that's our standard form allowing us to solve for p, and we can find that p equals positive 1 half. So since x is being squared and our p value is positive, we have an upward facing parabola, which means our focus is at 0, 1 half, and our directrix is y equals negative 1 half. So remember, this is a horizontal line. Okay, uh, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching.